Good morning, everyone. I'd just like to top off my remarks by sending out some thank yous to those who were involved in our Christmas concert on Friday. What a beautiful job they did, whether it was the string ensemble, the band, the chorus, uh, also the uh, nice little video about the Kennedy Christmas tree. It was all really well done and something that we as a school could take great pride in, the talent, the poise, and all of you to give such, uh, such great attention to that day. Also, I want to thank and congratulate our robotics team. They won big. Uh, they won the tournament championship this past weekend. Uh, that's the top of the heap. That's the top of the mountain. They did a great job. And we're very proud. You know, they, they work very hard. Uh, they really have worked to make a great team and a very competitive robot. So congratulations to them. Uh, one program reminder about any program uh, here uh, for we we'll talk about clubs and other community events Every Monday from 2.45 to 3.30 is a blackout for clubs. So if you have a club, you want to meet 2.45 to 3.30 on Monday. There are to be no practices, no rehearsals, none of that scheduled during that time. And if they are, please politely remind them uh, that there are no practices during that time from 2.45 to 3.30. That's your time for your clubs to meet, to get together without worrying about competing with another program here in our school. Uh, speaking about programs, spiritual program for Christmas, today is Reconciliation Monday. Uh, if you have not yet taken advantage of what we've offered here in the school, throughout the entire Archdiocese of New York, from 4 to 8 p.m. today, every parish, confessions will be heard. Why not? What a great way to spiritually prepare for Christmas. And remember, Christmas is a week from today, uh, the sacred, solemn time when we celebrate the birth of Christ our Savior. Please. Make every effort to be in church, go to Mass, celebrate as a family as we celebrate the gift of the King of Peace. God bless you, and Merry Christmas. Good morning. Today is Monday, December 18th, D-Day. I'm Greg Brand. And I'm Megan Cleary. And this is Kennedy Live. In school announcements, on the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Now for school announcements. There's an Italian club meeting at 245 in room 106. Attention to all freshmen. The Mark Napolitano Essay Scholarship Contest deadline has been extended to today. For, please remember to submit your essay online by midnight today. Further information is available in the main office or see Mr. Bruder. Mark was a 2008 graduate of Kennedy who tragically lost his life in a car accident, and this $1,000 scholarship to a worthy member of the class of 2021 will be in his memory. Remember that you have one more day to decorate your doors before the judging, which will occur tomorrow at the end of the day. The winners in each class will be announced on Kennedy Live Wednesday morning. And now over to this day in history. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. I'm Dennis Brewer, and welcome to this day in history. On this day in 18, 18 BC, the Second Punic War takes place. In 1892, the first performance of Tchaikovsky's Ballet of the Nutcracker takes place. And in 1946, Steven Spielberg was born. That's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. And in breaking news, thousands of firefighters tried Sunday to shield coastal communities from one of the biggest wildfires in California history. Crews cleared brush and dug containment lines above hillside neighborhoods in Santa Barbara County, taking advantage of slightly calmer winds a day after gusts fanned a flare-up that prompted more evacuations. Everything's holding really well, Fire Information Officer Lisa Cox said. Thousands of homes have been saved. And for our featured story, more people appear to be choosing to use an Uber for rides to the hospital over an ambulance. The data looked at ambulance usage rates since Uber was introduced in those markets between the years 2013 and 2015. 
The data, according to the study, appear to show that ambulance usage rates have declined by at least 7% in those markets. Many patients don't need something that can break traffic laws and don't need something staffed by paramedics with a bunch of fancy equipment. Power has been fully restored at the Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport after a complete power outage grounded flights Sunday afternoon, causing a holiday travel nightmare for flyers across the country just over a week before Christmas. Almost 2,500 planes arrive and depart Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International daily, and the airport averages 275,000 passengers per day, according to the airport's website, making it tough for people to get home for the holidays. And now over to sports with Gibby. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Gibby with your sports. In the NBA, the Cavs beat the Wizards 106-99. Kevin Love had 25 points. And the Pacers beat the Nets 109-97. Oladipo had 26. In the NHL, the Rangers beat the Bruins 3-2 in overtime. Zuccarello had one goal and was the first star, and Hendrik Lundqvist had 33 saves and was the second star. In the, N in the NFL, Patriots beat the Steelers 27-24. Gronk had nine receptions for 168 yards, and the Falcons will play the Buccaneers tonight at 8.30. On rec ball, Team Brand beat Team Ed. Ed hit a hook shot three despite the loss, and Team Young lo loses its first ever game to Team Dooley. Team Young played with only four players. That's all for sports. Now back over to the anchors. Well, I'm Greg Brand. And I'm Megan Cleary. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.